Hello everyone, it's time for another Walkthrough Wednesday. I'm Cody Swallow here at Primo RV in Karen Crow. Uh, today we got a nice treat for you. We got a brand new, the first we've seen, the Brinkley travel trailer. This is the 295A right behind me. We got a lot of things to talk about today. One thing um, on this camper, you've got the auto leveling system, one touch automatic leveling on a travel trailer. So nice feature like you normally would see on a fifth wheel. You got a great big pass through storage up front here. Comes with a 65 foot retractable hose cord on this side. You've also got brass fittings in here. Electric dump valves like you see on a lot of your high end motor homes on here. And you've got hot and cold shower on both sides. I'll show you on the other side when we get over there. You got the nice Euro style windows out here. Frameless automotive Euro style windows. This one's gonna have two opposing slides. I uh, will show you a little bit on the inside here in just a minute, but you've got the Goodyear Endurance uh, tires on here. These are the Wrangler 10-ply uh, E-rated tires. Let's see, we'll walk around the front up here. So up here, you've got a lockable box for your propane tanks and your batteries. Look how neat that is. Closes everything off, keeps everything secure on the outside. Kind of hard to see in the daylight, but you got LED lights that light up underneath here. Uh, painted front cap. Uh, well, like I was telling you before, you've got hot and cold running water here. Your shut off and battery disconnects. You also have a place to control your Bluetooth radio. And then this great big, huge pass through storage up front with big compartment doors. Moving along, you got two electric awnings on the front side. Got them extended out here so you can see how much shade coverage this creates for you. You've also got the uh, Lippard solid steps. We didn't pull this out, but you got a nice big handrail here, safety rail. There's a screen door on here, but you've also, they've done a little mesh on the side here. It protects that from the dogs or cats, pets uh, that are traveling with you from getting into the, uh, into the screen there. And then on the back side here, you've got a big storage compartment with a uh, motion sensor light inside of there, as well as another big storage compartment back here. This can all be opened up too, to where you can have the storage pass through there. All LED lighting. It's already got the observation camera built in back here. You've also got lighting inside of here with an electrical outlet. What they did here is pretty neat with these uh, heavy duty roof access ladders. These are big enough that you can hang towels and stuff on there, but they're good and solid. This is good for 250 pounds. Fully walkable roof, low maintenance, easy to take care of. You've also got a receiver hitch back here. This one has the tabs for your safety chains as well as your uh, plug for double towing. All right, guys, here we are on the inside of the Brinkley Air. This is, again, the 295. Uh, a lot of things to talk about in here as well. You got the nice big island in here. Comes with these bar stools, so it's a sit-at island to eat. You've got the nice big uh, sofa across here with the eight or reclining seats in there. You also can open these up. And you've got built-ins in here for uh, cup holders plug in with USB ports and electrical outlets. So wherever you're sitting here, you can set these up, whatever position you're at and have the uh, access to the cup holders. There is a little tabletop that sets up in here. It neatly stores the arm inside of here. And then the top is underneath the bed in the bedroom. We'll show you that in just a few minutes. Um, back here, you got a great big television, overhead storage. Uh, one nice thing about this one is an 18,000 BTU uh, air conditioning unit on here. The second AC up in the front is going to be a 13.5. When this is running, this oscillates, moves all the air around inside of the camper, so it keeps it nice and cool. Oh, I almost forgot to show you these nice little blinds here. You've got the day shade, so you can pull these up, or you've got a nice blackout shade at night, or you can separate them and open them up there. On the other side here, you've got the Little doggy bowls that come with it for the fur babies. Big pantry with LED backlighting. This also has adjustable shelves inside of here so you can customize it for your own needs. And then you've got two electrical outlets in here. I uh, saw somewhere they have like 17 different electrical outlets in this camera. So every way you turn, you got an electrical outlet. Um, moving along in the kitchen here, you got the great big residential size microwave. Lots of cabinet storage above and below. And these are the soft closed cabinets all the way around. More drawer storage here. Solid metal guides with the roller ball bearings in it. You got the solid surface countertops in here as well. Come around the other side here. You got a very big storage up here. This is your paper towel holder. So you can take that out, use it at the picnic table, or you store it neatly inside of here. But you've also got 
double trash can pull out here. So it's all hidden away, nice and neat. Don't have to worry about anything being accessed to there. Um, both of the slide rooms in here are flush with the floor. You notice there's no carpet in this camper at all. Great big residential Furion 12 volt refrigerator. Um, oh, here you got more storage cabinets, lots of storage everywhere as you turn. And you've got the residential size sprayer faucet. You also have, this is a little drying rack here, but it's the great big uh, farmhouse sink. Uh, let's see back here. Let me show you this room back here. So back here, you've got the double over double bunks. Lots of storage next to there. Motion sensor lights inside of here. You also got in the back USB uh, plugins and electrical outlets and the nice big handles and steps to climb into here. And like I said, more storage here and drawer storage back there. Let's take a look at the front up here. So walking up to the front, uh, right when you come in through the door, this is your control panel. Max air for the uh, fan in there. You got another max fan here in the bathroom. Look at this nice shower. Great big shower. You got the little seat in here. So if you want to shave your legs, nice shower with the, uh, all the extra jets and a little pull out handle here. And you got the nice LED lighting all the way all around the cabinet. I mean, the uh, medicine cabinet. This does have the on-demand tankless water heater. Also, the control is right inside of here. You just set the temperature to your uh, liking and then you don't have to worry about even blending water hot and cold or anything. Up front here, you've got the queen size bed. On the side over here, there's little cubbies on each side with USB ports and electrical outlets inside of there. Reading lights, there's a switch inside of here to turn these reading lights off and on. You've got a nice soft touch headboard here as well as more storage underneath the bed and that's a tabletop that sets up at the sofa up there on either side of the bed you got hanging storage here a couple of drawers for extra storage on the side there but you also have another closet here and then a four drawer stack on the side over here comes with the television that you see up here i mentioned earlier 13,500 btu ac up here and then you got even these nice little hangers so you can either hang towels or clothes or jackets or anything like that. I'm sure there's a few things that I'm leaving out or forgetting about because there's so many things on this camper. But give us a call. Any of our professional sales staff can help you out. Again, this is Cody Swallow here at Primo RV in Karen Crow, Louisiana. Another walkthrough Wednesday on the Brinkley Air 295.